down to get you to see. There he is. Steve Barnes. You alright? On the grass, on the grass, talking quietly. Talking to on the a grass. kind of the person on the camera. Say if I if I move over the grass, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, there's like something. What's what? I don't want to happen. I don't want people in our social media world seeing our oh, speakers calling back to normal doing that speakers calling because it causes so much problem. Two and a half thousand complaints we had from last week. Two and a half thousand complaints. Why? What happened? Complaints about. The fact that it was allowed, or the fact that yeah, absolutely of the all sides. You know, so just hang in there for that time. Yeah. And I want to add the <laughs> That's it. That's just it. We've got to lay a little bit of the game. We know another one's being advertised for next Saturday. Is it? What's that process? Yeah. Saturday the 30th. Is it on Facebook? Is it? On Twitter. Is it? Oh, what's happening? Was it over here or who's, yeah. who's doing that? Who's that? You like to look. You can ask me. Snitching. I've got no idea. Must have only just come out. The small, yeah, the small is the first time I've seen it. Hello. I had a nice chat of Amy yesterday. I just saw that she was Trocadero. Yeah, she came up, had quite a long chat. She's doing a little special tonight at our conversation. I, really? thought, oh, I thought to myself, you're going to be she, famous now. Oh, infamous. <laughs> yeah. I thought to myself, shall I engage with that? I thought, stop it. Let's see where this Was goes. Was she calm? And... Yeah, it's all right. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. you know, but it's water of ducks back to back. Did she bring, bring up prayer? I did, actually. Oh, right. <laughs> the prayer. <laughs> <laughs> People tweeting about it, there's no sign of who coordinating it specifically. Everyone checking their Twitter. Everyone checking their Twitter. Yeah, but I mean, depending on the announcement from the government this week, yeah. if, if, if it isn't a relaxation, you'll get a big number. Almost certainly, yeah. But the thing is, I mean, it's like last week, that midday, there was about. Oh, that were actual protesters, not yeah. journalists. But as soon as Russia Today got here, it just feeds and everything else. And most of them are full of me all joining to the melee. Bring a crowd, hire a crowd. <laughs> just, I'm saying that authorities are worried about contrary statements to the uh, point of view being told to us, being expressed. So, because I've noticed there's nothing on, on TV that's contrary to the government line that we need to shut down. All this because there's always contrary things, you know, like the contrary point of view is we don't need to shut down and that this is doing us a lot of harm. That's Absolutely. the contrary view. Yeah. But there's nothing about that on TV, nothing. I've seen nothing about that on Sky, BBC, ITV. So it could it be that they're scared of this information, this alternate line of information being expressed in places like this? No? Then why would they take David Icke or other people off the, off the, they would delete their channels they would delete them. It's not just Ike, there's Alex Jones, those are people. YouTube has a policy the, they where if you, if you actually say that you dispute the advice about social distancing, YouTube has actually said they will take the video down. And they have been doing that. Why, that's, would, they that's do that? 
Why would they delete if if it's supposed to have the United States supposed to have freedom of expression, British is supposed to have freedom of expression, if it says something contrary to what the government is, it just delete. It's deleted. But that's not free speech. This place is meant to be for free speech. This is, this is the centre of the world for free speech. And which it is, there's no there's no change there. YouTube's privately owned. But people go and when people go to work, they get packed like sardines into tanks. But they're not going to stop them, but if we're two minutes away and have a meeting, we get arrested. We could get arrested. No, there's, there is no, there is no place you can't enforce the two metre rule. It's not in the power. That's a big misconception. Yes, but the government no. the government has said that if you do this and we have power the government said we have we powers have, of arrest. We have yeah, for gathering. Powers of arrest, yeah, power. powers of finding you, finding yeah, you for, for, for gathering, for gathering, not for so not, not for two meter distance. For gathering. But, for but you can have a gathering where people are two free, meters free. Away. Yes, free. We can people. have a gathering here with fifty people, each of them two meters away. So that's What's the, the definition of a gathering? Three How is that defined? Mm -hmm. Three or more, well, three or more people this, walk. This is what makes it suspicious. Are we, are we a in, gathering there? Technically, yes. But don't you think that's what makes it suspicious? How, you know, is he defined as part of the gathering? Again, you've got to, you've got to, like, I mean, look out across the park. We've got three there, three there. Come yeah, three o'clock sun. Come three, yeah, yeah. come three o'clock this afternoon. You're going to have, you're going to have three walks. So when you get, when you get three or four, then that suddenly becomes 50. And he gets a hundred. Well, so yeah. There's a lot of things I don't understand. Like there's a lot of restaurants. Usually restaurants, people just get two meters away from each other anyway. So restaurants are not allowed to sit in a restaurant in case somebody will spread the virus. Yet when you go to work, under London Underground, you're packed like sardines. I've had carriages to myself. Oh, yeah, so so yeah. No, no, no. But, but in, the, in the beginning, in the beginning, I'll inside, I'll inside before the lockdown. I'll tell you an interesting, now, tell you an interesting observation here, and I think this is where we're going to This is my opinion, not police opinion. This is what, what, my observation. I mean, I, I live out way north of London, so I commute in every day. And was it last week when the government said, well, I'm encouraging everybody to go back to work? I was expecting the train that I normally get on on, my, on early to. In my little village station is rammed, you never get a seat. So I get on that train. There must have eight carriages, there must have been three or four people on the entire train. It's to Liverpool Street. I get to Liverpool Street at half past eight in the morning. There's like 28 days. Empty. Go down six trains to the central line. Empty. And that was like that. Go to your whole whole week. Now where is it? It's sitting. And people have been allowed back to work. Yeah, so, so they're, they're either working from home, yeah. enjoying their furlough, Yes. Yeah, because you know it's been a nice weather. I've always have a nice little extended uh, holiday. Mm. The problem is, is when we come to the end of this furlough and the people realise, oh, I've got to go back to work now. There's probably no jobs then. That's the problem. Yeah, they're still getting the skills sorted as well. Because a lot of people can't go to work. It's not yeah. 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 So, what is the um? What's your union called? The police officers. Federation. Federation. I've not heard anything about PPE and anything for the police. Yeah, well, we have got, I've got PPE, we right. do have it, yes. uh, it took, yeah. Only gloves, Yeah. If you, uh, uh Masks. It's the same. But again, you don't, you don't wear it out of guard, guard you don't wear it outside in open spaces. I just would have thought that we would... Those masks, the reason the doctor wears those is to prevent him infecting you. It's yeah. not protecting the doctor. No. I don't... Uh, no. the, the, you can't, can you imagine trying to supply the Met alone, 35,000 miles, yeah, yeah. multiple amounts to use every single It's not going to happen. Well, also, I mean, if you've got to arrest someone, is, you, you've got to come so, into contact with them. Yeah, so we've, we've, we, in the vehicles, we've got upgraded stuff past year. So we go to an address where we're suddenly suspected maybe have passed away from COVID or something ill, or anything like that. We have got measures put on to do that person to go with the LAS and take them to the hospital. So we, we have got there. Are your vans being regularly disinfected? So, yeah, we've got, we've got disinfected got, a lot anyway, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's part of, you know, every time you, you change crews, it's always you clean everything down, and that's just part of the normal yeah. housekeeping. What do you think about the assaults as well? Like people spitting at officers and key workers? Terrible. Ah. 
There was one that literally started. Oh, I haven't picked up any more. No, I don't really. I haven't really followed that. I mean, there's going to be cases, I'm sure. But it wasn't it first came out, yeah, especially around Soho, the West End, where there was there was a little spark of a big race of crime or something. But the problem that we're starting to notice now, like this afternoon, we've got starting to get an increase of uh, restless youth coming on bikes, large communities, and starting to rob people now. That's starting to happen. Mm. <laughs> well, it just seems to be sort of falling apart, you know. Now, when you go out during the day, there's loads of people out. Especially on nice days, public spaces are full. Do you think there's a possibility that after a few weeks, I know people still support the government. People will be so fed up that you end up having riots. So I think, especially with young people, they're going to say, you don't tell us the what to do. The riots will come. Mm. The riots will come when people haven't got their jobs. Mm. Going to the mm. autumn, winter. You know, the usual things you want to build up for Christmas and realise that shops are not going to have stock. Is there a math prepared for that, a riot? I mean, riots yeah, there's, there's all, yeah, we're always planning for that kind of contingency way, way ahead. There's this assumption that you can just, with the economy, you can just switch it off and switch it off. Switch it off. You can't do that because once something, once your business has gone under, you can't just start all over again. Mm. There's going to be we haven't got the economy. We haven't got the economy. We haven't got the world economy. Mm. So, I guess the big question, Mark, where are we going to go? Well, not only then, you've got all these people with cancer and heart attack and everything yeah. that have been treated. Probably more people are dying from the cancer not being diagnosed. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Heart it's it's awful. Yeah. And then people sitting at top, they're going to, I've got a lot of friends that are not obese, they eat all the time. Yeah. And they're put on weight, they're going to become obese, obese, they've got strokes, yeah. strokes, heart attacks, blood pressure, oh, domestic okay. violence. Yeah. Do you get more domestic violence now? Yeah. Well, there we are. It doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. I was just telling my friend here that in 1969, Hong Kong flu killed 90,000 people in this country with a smaller population. 90,000 people, three times as many as here. Nothing, no shampoo. Hepatitis B, highly contagious, very serious illness. And you have a vaccine for that that's very effective. I mean, it's the government doesn't insist that you get vaccinated against it. Yeah. Okay, that's another conspiracy government. It's going to be forced vaccination. Yes. Well, it's going to be, oh, come on. They were talking about it the other day. Yeah. Somebody, you you lot were going to be vaccinated. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> somebody asked the health secretary the other day. They said, is it going to be forced? In order to do this or that, to travel, yeah, you need it. So it won't be yeah. forced, but if you want to function in society, you may be required to have it. It's going to be you lose your benefit. It's going to be you lose your benefit if you don't have it. You'll get your bit there. Fly with it and send your child to school. There won't be any mandatory vaccination. Oh, you're right. But they asked it the other day. They asked somebody asked it the other day. There's no. You said this is what you said. It's too early. He said it's too early. That means they're thinking about it. That's what he said. There's no compulsory vaccinations anyway. No. We don't have them. There are now, but it's uncharted waters, you know. This is new territory. The thing is that. We are where we are, can't change it. What if we what would happen if we did have a lockdown? What would happen then? Well look at Sweden. Look ah, at now Sweden. Sweden. Oh, ah. I can tell you all about Sweden. I have researched. I've researched. Okay. Now they say the number of deaths is more. That's because they count the number of deaths in care rooms. You don't you don't look at the number of deaths, you look at the number of infections. The number of infections in Sweden is exactly, almost exactly the same as Norway and Denmark, where they do have lockdown. So if you look at the, the number of, but in Norway and Denmark, they don't count the number of deaths in care homes, yeah? So the number of deaths is less for that reason. But if you look at the number of infections, it's exactly the same, or almost exactly the same, at Denmark and uh, Norway. But Sweden, no lockdown, Denmark and Norway, lockdown. You can't compare Sweden with here. Because what no, they're, they're, their population no, no, no. is the same as us. Yeah, with Denmark yeah. and Norway. And Denmark and Norway. You can't. And the other yeah. thing where it's just different from the world, but the Swedes, and I've got two very close friends in Sweden, the Swedes love their government. They work with their government, they have respect for it. And the Swedes as a whole, they, they work in symbiosis and they you know, they. I'm comparing them with Denmark and Norway because they're almost exactly the same. They used to be the same nation, they speak the same language, the same culture, the same standard of living. Same, same infrastructure, almost as almost as same. So you can't come. You can't 
not the men of men, but they call them between themselves. So between themselves, Denmark and Norway, Denmark and Norway shut down. Same number of infections per population as Sweden and Russia. And in fact, and in fact, there's a big argument for saying that the shutdown is actually very dangerous. And this is the argument. The argument is, in order for a population to become has not been, the population has not, as a herd, the population. So when the virus comes back, because we shoot at the population, it's going to be more deadly, and far more people are going to be So this is very likely to happen, I think, in the come November, come December, the virus is going to come back. Because we've shielded at the population, I think the enormous cost to our economy, because we've shielded, the virus is going to be more deadly, and it's going to kill far more people. That if the infection arrived earlier, and it looks like it did, it looks like it arrived a couple of months before, we probably already got it. It's late January, early February. Yeah. I can't prove it, but I'm interested to see where it is. So I was in Italy in the last year, and I had it for about six weeks. I had it for about six weeks. This is not coming. Well, you know, there was a, a cruise ship with Diamond Princess. That's probably yes. the best no, one the to look at. Because that they, they had the infection there when it full blown. They couldn't stop it. And there was, was three, there was over 3,000 people on it, yes. right? and I think 800 tested positive. Those eight died, they were all quite old. But out of the ones that tested positive, it was over 400 of them that became unwell. Because they had the virus. And they didn't even America shut down. America shut down from the first wave. And then it came back the second wave, and the second wave was far more deadly than the first wave. Yeah, the Spanish flu was far more deadly than far COVID. the second wave, but because and they shut Spanish down, flu killed because they people. shielded the population. The problem with Spanish flu, I mean, we didn't know flu existed in the 1960s. The virus. Yeah, yeah, we didn't yeah. know, and they didn't know but how it, it was transmitted. It teaches us that the shielding of the population doesn't work. It makes the virus more deadly. That is why they, that is why everybody knows that if children at a young age are exposed to virus, if you let children play with the mind, the the far less likely to get ill in later life. But if you shield them, if you shield them, the more likely to get ill. spends most of its time indoors on really? it doesn't get out get out there so they haven't got the vitamin b's and natural immunity mm -hmm. you know? and also the problem with sunlight kills a lot of the virus because yeah. when it gets on your clothes 
and it's dark and you've got oh, the virus is going to survive. When you're out in nature and there's sunlight, it's going to kill the virus. So hence the people, you know, fright off quickly are the ones that exercise, do things outside, they're out there, you know. And I think, I think actually, Somebody's lying on the on the floor, minding his own business, having a having a sunshine. They're telling you to go and I've seen it in my local park. There's like two police vans coming and said you're not yeah, allowed to. On our, yeah, but on our defence, though, I mean, it's not, it's we, not we, your fault. We were thrown. We were given this legislation. We were exactly. like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. But you say two fingers up the government, and we're not doing your dirty work. You do it. You know. So somebody in the sky in the sun is a threat, but proving pack that circles and chains, that's not a threat. Because they're going to work. Doesn't make any sense. Tell me, is there any other in industry you now, retail? If you've got a third of the people off sick, no. Exactly. Why are the British transport, you know, because they can get away with it, they've got really powerful okay. unions. And you know, they're enjoying their time off. Because 99.9% of the time, the virus gets through by if somebody touches their face. If they touch their face with their hand, their nose, their mouth, with their mouth, that's how the virus gets transmitted. Yeah, either way, thanks for speaking to us, because uh, uh, last time I was here, they, nobody bothered me actually to say a word. All that there was was uh, do this, and that's it. There's no absolutely no discussion, no conversation, no questions. And, and if you ask a question, you know they start uh, asking your information, threatening yeah. fines. Yeah. Well, what it's just no way. Yeah, exactly. it's, it's because of people like me that the virus is spreading. Oh, you see, I've never spoken to that way. Before. So, you, super spreader. You, some five foot four ginger. You know, come on. Again, in defence of my colleagues, you remember what I do here is um, is off my own back. Yeah, my my job is I, I took on speakers for uh, five six years ago because I, I generally have an interest in a speech that really goes on, in, and that's why I take my time out. Well, I'm not here. Unfortunately, a lot of my colleagues they don't understand the mechanisms of it, and I've applied them with quite loose, hard understanding of the legislation, how it works transmission and part like this, you know, thousands of percent of people. Things go wrong. And then when you've got the nature of the speaker's corner breed as a whole, you know, you're, you're very outspoken as you challenge the status quo because that's what it's all about. So it's, it's, it's never a good mix. Um, you know, I try and train the people up. And I think also you're in a very difficult position because I'm from Ukraine. Oh, right. I live in Portugal most of my life. Most, a lot of things that start off with the public supporting it 8 to 90 percent, and by the time it's always going to go the other way, 8 to 90 percent the other way. You know, I mean, I, like in this country, we were against Iraq, but the Americans, they were like 90 percent pro, pro Iraq. 
I'm still about five years, they were 90% against it. And I think it's going to be the same with the sector. They were like 83% in favor of the shutdown but after after this and then when the second wave comes there's going to be there's going to be you know, health because they're going to blame the politicians i promise you this is going to happen i promise you when november and december the second wave comes people are going to be furious and and we're going to have professors coming on tv saying if the government had not shielded us we would have got herd immunity and the second wave would not be killing so many people because when it comes back in November and December, I guarantee you, it will kill far, far, far more people than the 5,000, yeah, yeah. 35,000 people. Because we didn't get immunity, and the virus has learned to mutate. The virus mutates yeah. all the time. Yeah, that's why I can't get back they, to They're going to get stronger. Mm. They're going to get the virus is going to come back, but stronger, because we didn't get the immunity. So it's going to kill more of us. So shielding us with a double whammy. It destroy the economy. The economy and the virus will become stronger when it comes back. And people are going to be furious. And people like you, you're going to have to stop right. I promise you, I promise you that's going to happen. Video me and put it as, as you know, this is going to happen. As, as night follows day, it's going to happen. Yeah. And 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 it's